Hello everyone, welcome to the start of our Guild Wars 2 coverage. The first thing I thought I would show you guys is the Hall of Monuments. Now, this is something that was pretty big from the original Guild Wars. If you played that, you could earn achievements and titles in order to get un unlocks for Guild Wars 2. And this is where you get those unlocks. Um, so the first couple things you see here is you got the Juvenile Black Widow. Um, you, you, if you're a ranger, you can get these. Uh, juvenile Black Moa, Moa Birds for the win uh you got a raven over here and actually something that's kind of cool is you have these chests now these are the chests that were in guild wars one the original guild wars um and in order to activate them you needed to talk to an agent and you obviously you can't talk to an agent right now um they they're probably all dead uh so that's unfortunate but that's okay uh but this is the area, this is Eye of the North um, in the original Guild Wars. So this is just really cool, really nostalgic for those people that did play the game and, and the final expansion to Guild Wars 1. Um, it was after Eye of the North that Guild Wars 2 was announced or was, you know, speculated, announced kind of thing. Uh, and then so here is the actual Hall of Monuments. You would have banners here or here or something like that um, in which you would... Uh, be able to uh, it, it kind of displayed your monuments i think that the mini pets were over here i can't remember what was here the weapons were over here um this was like the pvp tiles that kind of stuff so you can actually go in here this is another pet you can get the rainbow jellyfish so uh, if you are a, a ranger once again there's a lot of there's a lot of ranger things here um so you can talk, show him my legacy, and then here are all of the items that you get. I unlocked every single one of the items. I had 31 points in my Hall of Monuments. I believe the max was a hundred, was 40 um, points, 40 or 50. I can't remember uh, exactly, but uh, you get all of these items uh, for you know, for unlocking that kind of stuff for 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 completing 30 titles. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I can get any of these that I want. Um, uh, the uh, the one that actually is really, I'll get the raccoon. Well, well, let's get the raccoon here. Um, I want the rifle because that's the one I can use. Uh, I can also use a shield because I am an engineer. If you guys have not noticed, uh, the living short short bow is like probably my favorite thing that you can get in here because what it is is it's a dyad bow from the original game. That was my favorite weapon from the original game. So really really happy that they put that in here. You can also get there's fell blades. Um, there's a, f a fairy, dra uh, a fairy dragon sword, which is, I mean, lots of people like that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, so it's just, just really cool. Um, I'm happy that they have all this option. It looks like you can take it as many times as you want. Uh, so if you have, you know, lots of different characters, that kind of stuff, you can get all these items for your characters. Kind of like the bonus, uh, for, um, for the original um guild wars when you if you type dash bonus you get a bunch of items but it doesn't take up all your inventory this time so pretty cool uh make sure to stay tuned for more guild wars 2 coverage uh coming up uh we will have a ton of it i'm really looking forward to this game i can't wait to play it some more there's my pretty little character here if you want to add me feel free to add me in game uh the name is Let's see if i can actually get the name because it's it's not an easy one to uh to pronounce a rira black rose i also will be going by um, Dawn of the Dew, uh, that's going to be, this and Dawn of Dew is probably going to be my main characters, so uh, if you guys want to, add me, and uh, hopefully I'll get to see you in game.